Okay. Love. Um, love. Uh, no, I'm gonna start this over. I'm not the one you need. You say you're looking for someone. It's a goal for almost every person who's ever lived on our planet. For many of those people, it is their reason for living. For some of us, we spend our entire lives looking for it, even though it seems like it's constantly surrounding us. It's in every song that we hear on the radio, in every movie that we watch. It's in pop-up ads on the internet. But what is love? A short answer is that I have no idea. The long answer is, is a hell of a lot longer than that. This is Letters from Paris. This is my story. I moved to Paris in January 2010. I was running from a recent heartbreak and trying to escape a feeling of being alone. Now, over the next year, I kept a journal. It was full of letters that I wrote to my ex-girlfriend, but that I never sent. They told the stories of all the people that I met, all the places that I went, and the things that I saw. And now I want to edit these letters and turn them into a novel that explores what I learned about France, about life, and about the meaning of love. But what makes Letters from Paris unique is that it integrates multimedia content. As much as possible, I want to take you all with me to the City of Light. I want to show you my favorite parks, my favorite streets, my favorite restaurants. Show you the things that I saw, and relive with all of you the moments that I lived. I want to combine the words from my letters and essays with hundreds of photographs and hours of documentary footage from my actual experiences in Paris. This footage ranges from spontaneous celebrations on the Champs-Élysées to organized demonstration during the retirement strikes to Christmas concerts at the Notre Dame. I will also include footage of interviews that I conducted, asking my friends, acquaintances, and strangers what love meant to them. Now, the book will read like any other, but if you're reading the ebook on a tablet device, you will have the option of clicking highlighted words to access this additional media. For those of us that still prefer reading books in a physical form, I will make all of that additional media available on the internet. And this project is not just important to me, it is me. The story is intensely personal, and the struggles and triumphs that I experienced in my year in Paris are the same highs and lows experienced by anyone who has ever loved, or has ever tried to. Now I'm here because I need money. Funding will pay for the book's editing and page layout, for incorporating the video and images into the ebook to acquire additional sound and music content for the novel and for hosting all of this content on an interactive website. The more funding that I receive, the better experience that I can provide for all of the readers. Now all of this video that you're seeing is part of what will be incorporated into the final project. And you can find examples of my unedited letters by following the links in the description below. For me, this is about much more than publishing a book. It's even about more than combining multimedia content into a novel. This project is about being human. It's about all of us. This is about connecting an audience directly to an author and creating something as a community. And this is why I'm coming to Kickstarter. I know that if I find enough resources, I can make this into something really awesome. So please donate if you can. If you don't have any money, you can still help just by passing this video along to the people you love. It's my hope that you will join with me in making this something that we can all be proud to be a part of. Sincerely, Willem Wilson.